So hello everyone. Uh, the title of this work is Improved Linear Approximations to Arc Ciphers in Attacks Against Chacha. Uh, it's the joint work uh, of myself, Murilo Coutinho and uh, Sosa Neto. We are both researchers at the Research and Development Center for Communication Security in Brazil. So let's start talking about uh, the string cipher chacha. Uh, the cipher was proposed by Bernstein 2008 as an uh, improvement of the string cipher salsa, which was one of the winners of the A string competition. Uh, chacha consists of a series of arcs operations, addition, rotation, and XOR on 30. 32 bit words and it is highly efficient both in software and in hardware. And uh, as everyone knows, uh, Chachi is heavily used. It's one of the cipher suits in the TLS, for example, used it on, on Chrome, Android, um, and protocols such as SSH, Noids, uh, VPN applications such as WireGuard, and actually also as a PRNG in uh, Linux kernel, uh, newer Linux kernel. So, of course, as Chacha is very important, um, uh, then it's it's also important to to understand very well its security. And these are the 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 main uh, results uh, of cryptanalysis of the reductions of South of Chacha. And um, as you can see here, uh, this work improves the the tax for six rounds and uh, seven rounds. Of course, in the case of the, uh, the attack for seven rounds, uh, we have a trade-off uh, on time and memory. But uh, it's also the first work in which we can uh, we develop uh, some linear approximations, which uh, can get up to the, the, the seven round. Chacha, as I said, is an arc cipher and uh, it's based on, on a function which is called the quarter round function, which receives four integers and um, update these integers as these operations on the left side here. And uh, these operations can be represented as the circuit. Uh, on the right side. Uh, also, Chacha is organized as a, a matrix, as the, the, the state of the, the, the cipher, uh, on a 4x4 four four matrix. And uh, each element of this matrix is an integer of a 32-bit 32, 32 uh, long uh, integer. And the Quarahon function is then applied first on the columns, um, on other rounds, and in even rounds on the diagonals, uh, respecting the colors that I plotted here in this slide. The initial state of the structure uh, is very simple. You initialize with some constants. Uh, uh, the two, uh, 256-bit key and uh, a nonce and a counter. Okay, after talking about Chacha, it's time to talk a little bit about uh, differential linear cryptanalysis. Of course, uh, differential cryptanalysis and linear cryptanalysis are the most important uh, tools uh, for cryptanalysis uh, since uh, the 90s with the work of Shamir, uh, Bihan, Matsui, and and so on. So uh, it's possible to combine both of these techniques and uh, then you divide your cipher in two parts which you will call E1 and E2, two sub ciphers covering M and L rounds of the main cipher. So you apply an input differential um, in the sub cipher E1 then you have a transition probability to another differential after uh, those M rounds. And then you apply, apply a linear mask, gamma M to gamma out, uh, which occurs with probability Q. 
sometimes you can now actually divide the cipher in three parts as was done in the work of barely in crypto 2020 when attacking Chacha. And, and yeah, this is the, 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 the basic review. Okay, so now we are going to, to, to talk a little bit about the linear approximations to our ciphers and more specifically to the string ch cipher Chacha. So in previous work, um, in 2016, Shodihuri and Mitra developed a theory for selecting specific combinations of bits to give a higher coherence for Chacha. And they did that by exploring the mathematical structure of the algorithm. And of course, as expected, the difficult part is to deal with the addition operation, which is the nonlinear operation for ARCs algorithms. Um, thus, let us define right now that um, the function theta of an x and y is the carry function of the sum x plus y. So we define that the th theta subscript i as the if bit of theta x and y. So by definition, remember that uh, theta zero is equal to zero. And then in that work in 2016, Shudhuri and showed that uh, we can write the quarter hand functions, equations of Chacha as these expressions and more importantly, that uh, these equations can be inverted so you can represent any bit of the state of Chacha uh, in a round m minus one as a combination, a combination of uh, bits in uh, one round uh, after. So here you, you can notice that we have a linear part XOR a nonlinear part, which is represented as a combination of bits of uh, carry bits and the function theta. And these are the linear expressions that we get for Chacha. And uh, the important thing here is that using properties of theta, it's possible to obtain linear approximations uh, for the quadrant function. And in previous works, authors used the following result in which uh, we, you can approximate the, um, theta in the position i as the bit y in the position i minus 1 with correlation a half. For example, uh, take the bit uh, i of the word b uh, when applied in the quarter hand function, as we saw in the previous slide. We have this expression, and then we have here uh, a linear approximation to this bit with a correlation of half. Uh, so, uh, in previous works of crypt analysis of arc uh, ciphers, authors concentrated in the find these linear approximations uh, by using these equations for one hand and repeating, repeating uh, these equations uh, for each hound uh, that you desire to expand. However, uh, we showed uh, in this work that we can uh, actually create a strategy to improve linear approximations when considering more rounds by combining the following linear approximations for theta. The first one is the, the one that you, you, we saw previously and the second one is new, and uh, you can see that we have two adjacent bits uh, of, the, of the carry, and um, they cancel out to zero with coherence a half. So, for example, again, consider the bit i of the word b, as, as we did uh, some moments ago. Then we're trying to find suppose that we try to find an approximation to, to this linear combination of two adjacent bits of the word b. So in previous works, we, we would use the, 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 the expansion that we are showing above here uh, two times, one for this bit and one for uh, the second bit. Uh, and then we would get this linear expression 
uh, below with uh, correlation uh, acquired. Instead, we could use the approximation uh, that cancel out the, the nonlinear terms. Uh, in this case, it's easy to see that um, uh, the expansion would be um, this one. So, of course, you can cancel out this, these two terms. And this leads to, to this linear expression that uh, is not only uh, does not only have fewer terms, which is a good thing when you are trying to expand further, but also has a higher correlation of a half. So why this is useful against arc cipher? ciphers because it is possible to reduce the complexity in several cases. For example, a uh, very simple example right uh, here, consider the sum z equals 2x plus y. If you want a linear approximation to the bit, uh, the seventh bit of z, then we can use the first approximation of the query function to, to obtain, uh, by definition, uh, this is expression. So this is this is by definition for the sum, of course. Then, uh, with the first linear approximation to the carry bit, you get uh, this expression in which you can see that uh, you have two adjacent bits here um, as a given. So every time that you use the first expression, you get the second one for free. 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 So in the second round, it would be. Uh, way better to expand expanding the, the, the equation using uh, that expression instead of individually expanding with the the, 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 the linear approximation for one round. Uh, and this works because since the XOR operation will not change the indexes and the rotation will probably keep these, these two bits adjacent then yeah, we can use the second approximation to, to cancel out the nonlinear terms. And applying this idea, we derived and proved more than 15 new linear operations for one round of cha-cha. For example, for multiple active input bits uh, in round M minus one and multiple active output bits in round M, the following linear approximations hold for cha-cha with, with uh, correlation, one over two to the power of k. So here we see three, three examples in which we have combinations of uh, bits in, in a round. So even combinations of three bits with uh, very high uh, correlation, which is, which is very good. So using these results that we proved in our work, we we tried to improve our own previous work in 2020, and deriving the following in which we derived the following linear approximation. So in that work in 2020, uh, we showed that this expansion for six rounds leads to, to a correlation of two to the power of minus 13. However, we can do better with the proposed technique. Uh, and in fact, we present here the first explicitly derived approximation ranging three complete rounds of cha-cha and with correlation two to the power of minus eight. So this is the expression. It's a very beautiful expression, as you can see. And this was proven in our paper. The proof is there for anyone who is interested to, to understand, and also we verified these results computationally. So um, now the challenge, of course, uh, we had approximation up to six rounds, and, and the, the challenge is to try to find a distinction for seven rounds. Because in 2016, Shudhuri and Mitra remarked that ex an expansion for this method to seven rounds would be very unlikely to be useful. Indeed, applying this, this their technique as they presented in their work, aggregated correlation for seven rounds would be two to the power of minus 109. Thus, using this linear expression, of course, in a different li differential linear attack would lead to a, a 
distinguishing for complexity uh, very high, uh, no less than g to the power of 436, which is, of course, useless. However, using our linear approximations, you can get a much better result. And in fact, we proved in our paper, in our paper that uh, the following linear approximation holds with correlation 1 over uh, 2 to the power of 55. And again, it's a very beautiful expression. Um, yeah, it's hard to prove, uh, but uh, we did it and also um, verified the, the results computationally by segregating independent parts, computing the correlation, and using the polynomial pal lemma to, to get the final result. And so, yeah, using uh, differential correlation of our previous work in uh, 2020, uh, we can uh, create new distinguishers for six rounds with complexity to the power of 51 which is way below anything um, we currently had uh, against Chacha. And for seven rounds, for the first time, a distinguishing using the, the framework of uh, Shudhuri and Mitra, which, uh, which, which was impossible to, to get um, a distinguisher for seven rounds. Now we have one with complexity to the power of 224. So, uh, we showed in, in our paper that we can actually get uh, linear approximations up to seven rounds with smaller correlations, uh, provided that we can get a differential for three and a half uh, rounds. Uh, so, we expect that this, it should be possible to, to improve a little bit uh, for the attacks for anyone that is interested. So, these, these were the, the main results of our paper. And, uh, but we additionally found some new differentials. Um, as in previous works, these differentials were found experimentally. And to do that, we divided the cipher in three parts, as presented in, in Bay Early uh, in Crypto 2020. And in that work, the author showed that uh, the following differential characteristic occurs with probability 2 to the power of minus 5 on average for the quarter round function of Cha Cha. And uh, this procedure is computationally intensive, as some of the correlations are very small. And to achieve this amount of computation, we use eight NVIDIA GPUs, and uh, we actually made uh, this code publicly available on GitHub. Uh, anyone interested can can get the, the link in our paper. And uh, as far as we know, this is the first code uh, publicly available of uh, cryptanalysis of chat. And uh, yeah, this is this is the results of the differentials that we could find for three and a half rounds. Um, we should note uh, that uh, since the first version of this pub paper was published, several independent researchers reviewed our results and code. And we would like to thank Juan Vasquez, who identified an, a small mistake in the code that we made publicly available. It was just a plus one and online that uh, we missed it, but actually that uh, that uh, affected the, the results of this table. And uh, actually, they at all in 2021 independently noticed that the results reports were not accurate and computed an alternative version of this table. So conclusions and future work. Uh, in this work, we presented a new technique to find linear approximations for arc ciphers. And applying this technique, we presented new linear approximations to the string cipher charge, which gave us new and improved distinguishers. And we expect that the proposed technique can be used to improve attacks against similar arcs based designs as the string cipher salsa and hash function Blake. 
And additionally, we believe that um, may be possible to improve uh, further the attacks against Chacha um, because, uh, as we, we, we showed, the, the co linear correlations for the, the, the differential at the position at bit zero of the word five was higher than the one that we actually use to, to create the attack. And the weight of the linear correlation on the complexity of the attack is higher uh, to the on the linear part than is in the differential part. So maybe someone can find a compromise there and uh, it may be possible to improve uh, a little bit more the tax to charge using these techniques. So yes, with that we, we finish our presentation. Here are some references, of course, in the paper. We, you can get uh, the full list of references and we would like to thank everyone that uh, got to this point of the presentation. Thank you very much.